Hi guys, Akka Kedi here and in today's video we are going to make a soccer kick game in scratch. So basically when you press the green flag you get this target and this ball. So if you press left click and the ball goes in without touching the goalie then you will hear this. And your score also increases and as you can see there is one time and if this runs out then I'll just show you so if this runs out then this happens everything stops and times up so now let's make this so first we don't need the sprite let's go to choose a sprite and search Jordan and here it is so now we'll take the sprite and we also need one background soccer field and we'll go to costumes of the stage duplicate this and okay not delete control Z and let's delete everything except this goal so I deleted this part and last part left and done now let's say again go to backdrops and let's choose some random sprite and go here take this background and dump it on the sprite and then we'll delete this because on all we need is this soccer field and uh, let's go here and delete all these girls name this goal and then we'll take a ball which should be in sports and we have this soccer ball and we'll drag this aside keep this goal here and say when flag clicked go to this place then we need one more sprite as the target so let's say it fail to none let's take this black boundary let's say 20 and now okay not like this not like this Okay, so let's raise this and now we have our target ready and we'll go to code and code this ball first so we'll say first go to this place zoom in a bit go to X this place and Y this so go here and we'll say when no then we'll say forever if mouse down then glide point let's say point Five seconds to uh, sprite one and okay, so that's fine. 
and we'll say if when flag pressed if no forever if touching uh goal and okay wait if touching goal and if touching goal and not touching jordan then let's go to sounds not basketball bounce and sports goals here let's take this and rename this variable to score and change score by 1 set score to 0 when flag clicked and after changing the score to 1 switch no uh start sound goals here okay so this doesn't work let's just play play sound goals here until done and and then we we'll say go back to to this place and now we'll code the target let's also name this target and when flag he clicked forever go to mouse pointer uh, a bit adjustments because it was taking a while to make it go back just for one just for backup we we'll say wait one second and go to this place and we also may need to make it change its size so when flag clicked if mouse down then change size by minus 10 and wait point 0.1 second let's change this to point 0.1 duplicate this and same thing or we don't need this and let's just put this and let's say not 10 and 15 because the size size doesn't look like it's changing so now let's see Still not changing, so let's say 20 minus 20. And 
yep it looks like it's changing size so and then let's say jordan when flag clicked wait when flag clicked uh go to first let's say jordan let's save size 80 and yep and then go to this position and then forever move glide one second to this place slide one second to this place and say glide let's go to operators and pick random one two pick random one to two seconds duplicate this pick random one to two So now let's go to costumes, delete all other costumes and we need to make it to go backside. So first switch costume to Jordan A when it's gliding from here to there and then make it switch to A. Okay, no. First A and then B. Yeah, now it works. And one more thing, I can't see the score. Also, just because the score is way too late, we'll just put it here. Let's just leave it here. So, yep, now let's make another variable named time and say when flag click set time to 30 seconds and let's say when flag clicked forever change time by minus one and repeat until time is equal to zero so after that we'll say stop all and yep only thing is we need to add one more second break Okay, so the timer just came down to zero and it works. So one more thing which we need to add is the time up and that is pretty much easy 
so let's just select fill to red T I M E U P then set the size up and then drag it here and say when flag clicked hide and if time equals to zero uh, time equals to zero then show uh, show and let's just see if the timer runs out and the time up shows up 5 4 3 2 1 time up and that's it for today's video if you like this video then don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and bye bye till my next video